54 years in the running. It's always been Stock Car Racing's longest race. The Coke 600 is like four and a half hours worth of really hard work and then a trophy dash. Well, the idea is you want to be part of that trophy dash at the end of the night. What did you do tonight to prepare for 600 brutal miles? Well, if you got a camera right there, I'll show you. now two by two coming out of turn four headed toward the start finish line and the start of the 54th running of the coca-cola 600 green flag in the air and denny hamlin gets a tremendous jump on the field a little bit uh, better than the guys in front of me until i got to him that's boyer in third that's the 50 that's all you gotta do man ride and take care of us yeah, Mark Martin making his 57th start here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I like it. I, you know, I don't mind the splitter, what it's doing. I just uh, would like to turn a little stronger. Careful. We have a bizarre situation here that has brought out this most recent yellow flag. And that's the cable for the Fox TV broadcast camera that goes zooming along the front straightaway in Pitt Road. It's at the exit of turn four, and some of the drivers ran over it. Here it is, overhanging the track at turn four. The first car coming is going to be Kyle Busch. That's going to catch in his right front wheel well, and it's just going to whipsaw the fender behind the wheel, uh, the wheel well. Now, where is it going to go? Watch Mark Martin right here. He's going to come along, pick up that cable. It's going to do a little damage to the left rear uh, of his car. There it is in the air. It's going to catch on Mark's car, and then it's going to go underneath Marcus Ambrose's car. I ran over something on the front straightaway. I don't know what it was. I didn't see it, but I felt it. If I gave you 5,000 guesses as to why we'd be under a red flag, would this have been one of them? I think they'd want to get that thing back somewhere in case one of the other two broke. Yeah, they don't use it very often. I don't think they've actually used it at every race this year, even, to be honest. Probably going to use it a lot less after this. Yep, I would say so. The teams will be allowed to go in their pit boxes and start working on their cars. They are going to give them 15 minutes to repair their cars. They will take the green flag on lap 130 as we're racing again here at Charlotte. Mark Truex getting a little closer. Pablo Montoya. Did nothing for me but take the back out of the track. Still not turning. 10 4, 29 44. Me. Should never leave the touch that damn track bar. Clint Boyer is in 11th place. He's 13 seconds off the lead. I think they're struggling with this track going through a change. Here we on him in, man. Just keep it up. 30 to his 40. Fourth quick, man. Nothing behind you. I don't want to hear fourth quick. I don't want to hear fastest car. Running this fast. Everybody's running the same speed. Difference is we're 10. They're lead. Trouble coming off turn two. Landon Castle has gotten into the outside wall, and that will precipitate yet another Service Master Clean caution. Green flag is back out again, and again, Kurt Busch gets a good jump. Oh, a little three wide action here. Truex, nice. Martin Truex, all the way to the bottom. Martin Truex Jr. makes a three wide. Looks like he may lead off turn two. Oh, this is going to get dicey down the back stretch. Kurt Busch goes to the bottom. Martin Truex backs out of it, and it'll be Casey Kane on the top side. Get in the wall. Two cars hard in the wall in turn three. Danica Patrick and Brad Keslowski. Keslowski's car sliding along the front stretch, noses into the wall. It was three wide in turn three. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. on the bottom, Danica in the middle, Brad Keslowski to the outside. Casey Kane does not take off. Mark Trek Jr. in that 56, he was all over the back of Casey Kane. Both of these guys on the front row keep just stopping, jacking the brakes on before they go. That's what's causing all that. That's why the five spun the tires. Oh, trouble front straight away! Three wide and two cars pile hard into the wall. That's a terrible wreck. Mark Martin got.
got into the, I think it was maybe the 43 of Almirola. Just went three wide and uh, I got squeezed in there, you know, we, trying to uh, trying to run the thing three wide and just there just wasn't quite room there. I I hate it. I hope everybody's okay. Martin Truex Jr. He was concerned about possibly restarting behind the five as well because that messed up his restart in the last time. He lost several positions. We're back under green and Harvick's wasting no time. Casey Kane got a much cleaner start that time. Matter of fact, the 56 of Mark Trex laid off him a little bit just in case. See Clint Boyer in that 15 car on the outside of Ryan Newton in the 39. I think they've just been making his car better and better as we went into the night. Didn't get off to a great start here. Started fifth and faded just a bit. And has worked his way back up. Stand up and salute. Kevin Harvick is going back to victory lane here at Charlotte. All right, man, C9. Oh, we had a better car than that, but good job hanging in there with us all day. Well, it was a ugly top 10, but oh well. Good job hanging in there.